Joining us now for the interview exclusively on Bloomberg is the CEO of Statoil, Eldar Setra. Eldar, thanks so much for joining us. The, the, the question that we kind of want to focus on here is the possibility of sustainable, sustainable uh, integrated oil companies. Some people think that they're the ones who will win this race, win this um, race. to be the leaders in sustainable oil production. Others ask the obvious question as to how that could be possible, considering you're in the fossil fuel business. What's your take on it? Well, we are a broad energy company, so we produce oil and gas, uh, renewable energy. Uh, in terms of sustainability, for us, it's producing oil and gas with the lowest possible carbon uh, footprint. And if you look at uh, what we call our next generation portfolio now, the carbon footprint is at three kilos per barrel, which is one fifth of the global average. So that is really key part of, of, of you know, being uh, uh, integrated into the, the journey towards a low carbon future. Our renewable energy is uh, also increasing. Today, around 5% of our capital expenditures goes into renewable energy, mainly into offshore wind. But what, to, to the point, that we've been kind of talking about, and, and Anne-Marie was kind of referencing your correlation with the oil price. You are still an oil company. I know you're investing into renewable, but you are still an oil company. So I'm wondering, as you look out, as you gaze to the horizon, what you see there. So we still produce oil and gas, and we do that with pride. So uh, that is obviously very important for, for our revenues. We have been through a tremendous cost transformation in the industry within our company. And uh, the next generation portfolio that I just referred to has a break-even price of around 20 US dollar per barrel. That used to be around 70 mm. US dollar per barrel. So it's quite impressive. So the main focus for us is needed really now to maintain, keep focus on cost efficiencies, and, and then we'll see the benefits from, from the higher oil price into the cash generation. That will be so in the first quarter numbers as well. Eldo, we're going to in a little bit, we're going to interview the CEO of Vestas, wind energy uh, company that I'm sure you know. Um, can you imagine a future where you're buying companies like that or uh, where you're investing in, say, thorium-based nuclear power plants rather than uh, getting oil and gas out of, the, out of the ground? So we do more and more renewables. We've indicated 15 to 20 percent of our capital expenditures by 2030 into new energy solutions, around 5 percent currently. Most of this goes into the offshore wind segment. We also invest in floating offshore wind here in, in Scotland, which has a you know, broader uh, market potential uh, as we see it. So exciting. We've also done our first investment into solar, solar energy in Brazil. So we are expanding our footprint uh, definitely within renewable energy. Where do you see that expansion coming? I, let me just rattle off a few questions. Do you think we're going to get any more big discoveries in the Barents Sea? Where does Canada, a country with huge energy reserves, fit into the story going forward? Kind of where do you see yourself? So we continue to explore for oil and gas. We need more oil and gas also in the lowest carbon footprint scenarios of the world. So, but we need cost, you know, cost efficient and carbon efficient new resources. So we drill around 40 exploration wells this year. Around more than half of that is on the Norwegian continental shelf, all parts of the Norwegian yeah. continental shelf, but also in Brazil, uh, you know, and onshore other parts of the world. Um, Do you expect big uh, any more? I, people are talking about kind of the lack of discoveries in the barrens. Is that? Like, does that start to worry you? No, we will continue to explore. We'll drill three to five wells in the Barents Sea uh, this year. We drilled uh, around five wells last year. So uh, we drilled you know, around more than 100 wells uh, in the, in the Barents Sea. Some developments already. So we'll continue. It's a huge area. We will continue to explore in that region. But we have a very broad perspective on our exploration. Do you, do you see Canada fitting into your future? So, so we made a significant uh, discovery, uh, yeah. or, you know, on the east coast of Canada, and we will continue to do exploration in in that uh, region. So, future will show. When it comes to oil sands in our portfolio, we uh, left that part of our portfolio a couple of years back.